All right, in this video, we're going to look at estimating surface area, and I put surface area in quotations for this T's Math Tips video number eight, because sometimes you might not be finding the entire area of all the surfaces. So we have a room needs to be painted that is in the shape of a rectangular prism. That's the shape I have drawn here. The height of the room is 14 feet 9 inches. The floor of the room is 10 feet 2 inches by 16 feet 8 inches. What is an estimated area a person would have to paint if he or she wanted to paint the walls but not the floor nor the ceiling? Let's assume this room has no windows and that the door to the room will be painted as well. So we want to paint the four walls but we don't want to paint the ceiling and we don't want to paint the floor. Now, I'm putting multiple choice answers down here. When you're dealing with estimation and you have multiple choice, probably your answers are going to be far enough apart such that when you get your answer, one of them is going to be the obvious answer. So, you know, we got 14 feet 9 inches. Since 6 inches is half a foot, anything over 6 inches, 6 inches or higher, I'm just going to round up to the next foot. Anything less than 6 inches, such as 5, 4, 3, 2, or 1, or just no inches, I'm going to keep it at that foot. For example, 14 feet 9 inches. That's closer to 15 feet than it is 14 feet. This is the height of our room, so I'm just going to put 15 feet for the height of my room. And I'm doing this because technically I'm kind of rounding, but ultimately we're going to be estimating something and we're going to see that one of these answers is going to be the obvious answer. So that 15 feet is the height of all of these pieces to our room. The floor of the room is 10 feet 2 inches by 16 feet 8 inches. 10 feet 2 inches is closer to 10 feet than it is 11 feet. So I'm just going to put 10 feet for one of the dimensions of my floor. And then 16 feet 8 inches is closer to 17 feet than it is 16 feet. So I'm going to put 17 feet for this other dimension of the floor. Now since we want to find the area, estimated area of the walls, but not the floor and not the ceiling, we have this rectangle over here, and the area of a rectangle is length times width. So let's take 17 times 15, and 17 feet times 15 feet is 255 square feet. That's the area of one of these walls, but notice since we have a rectangular prism, this wall over here is going to have the same area as well. Therefore, we want to double it since we want to paint both this wall over here and this wall over here. So doubling, let's multiply by 2, and that's going to give us 510 square feet. Just use your calculator here since you can use your calculator on the T's test. And we have two more walls, this front wall here and this back wall. Again, we're assuming we have no windows, so we're going to paint all of these walls, all four walls. And the door is going to be painted as well. So basically, all we want to do here is find the area of this rectangle. We have 10 feet by 15 feet. Remember, the height of the room is 15 feet. So let's find the area of this rectangle by taking length times width again. And the area of this wall right here in the front is 150 square feet. Since we want to paint this back wall as well, let's double it since that's the same rectangle. That gives us an area of 300 square feet. Now, this is the area of the two side walls, if you will, this one here and this one right here. And then we had the 300 square feet, which is the area of this wall here and this back wall here. That's all four walls. Let's find the sum of these two areas. Sum in those two areas, we have roughly 810 square feet. So 810 square feet is closer to 800 square feet than it is to any of the other areas in this problem. That will be the solution to our question here. You have a question that's similar to this in your ATIT study manual, and I have received quite a few questions on it. If you were to look at those answer choices in the study manual, you will see that there's a big enough difference between all of those square feet answers such that one of them is definitely going to be the obvious one. In this case here, you know, don't stress too much about estimating versus rounding. I just rounded up to 15 feet. I rounded up to 17 feet and I left this one alone at 10 feet based on these measurements here. Once we found the areas of all four walls, we said, all right, 810 square feet, that's pretty doggone close to 800 square feet. Had you got an answer that was, let's say, 860 square feet, you would have said 900 square feet there. But in this case here, this is the answer that makes the most sense. And there you have it, estimating surface area. Be careful when you read these problems. We did not want to paint the ceiling, nor did we want to paint the floor. So technically, we're not finding the entire surface area. 
we're finding the area of four surfaces, in this case, the four walls. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.